Hello, jewelry lovers. It's Cindy, the jewelry nurse. How's everybody doing tonight? I did finally make it to 100 subscribers over the weekend. I'm a little over that. So I did the random drawing, and I'm going to announce the winner here in a second. Um, I did find out, though, that the only way you can do the random drawing on YouTube is to choose from the commenters. So I do plan on doing a 200 subscriber giveaway. So when I get to 200, I will let you all know, and then you can leave a comment if you want to be entered and I will choose from the entries on the 200 when I get to the 200 whoever leaves a comment it's the only way to actually pick a random winner I discovered because you can't access um, subscribers that aren't um, don't have a public um, subscriber list so um, that was the only way I knew to do it so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now as you remember I am giving away this purse and I offered five different pairings with this Talbot necklace which is a pretty good brand this multi-strand Talbot necklace it is I think 32 33 inch multi multi chain and then I offered several with it so um, the random pick was uh, what did I do with my card? Um, Barbara Elford. So, Barbara, if you're watching the video, I'll leave my email address below. Um, so, just email me and give me an address and where you want me to mail it to. So, it will include, I think you um, liked the third pick the best. So, it'll include the third pick pairing and uh, some other surprise pieces of jewelry. So, Again, Barbara, I'll give you one week to claim it, and if I don't hear from you within a week, then I'm going to pick another winner, but again, that's Barbara Elford, and so just, um, you know, send me an email, and or you can comment, but, um, and let me know how to contact you or whatever to mail it to you. Over the weekend, I did go to an estate sale, so on this video, I'm going to show you my estate sale wins, plus I got... Um, some stuff I wanted an option from going on grouchy so I'm gonna open that tonight and it was like a grab bag we'll go through it together um, these first couple of um, pairs of earrings I'm gonna show you actually came from Goodwill and they were I think it was 25 or 50 percent off day or something I don't remember there was a couple of discounts I got but these were priced 98 cents and I think I got them for like 40 something so it must have been 50 um, percent off day but I picked them because I love chandelier and they're really cute plus they have actual um, real rice pearls so I thought those were kind of cute and then I also got this second pair that same day and these were listed for a dollar dollar fifty eight they were priced these were in the jewelry box they weren't in a jar but these have a lot of freshwater pearls on them a whole bunch they have the kind of a pinky peach color and um, some really nice rhinestones but I thought that was a pretty good price for those and those are fairly nice um, big freshwater pearls and these are marked these are marked um, LC they're marked Liz Claiborne right uh, somewhere yet yeah, right there Liz Claiborne so I thought that was a pretty good price but you know even if I don't sell them individually they'd be great for a giveaway and um, you know they were really inexpensive I think they're worth a lot more than that but you know that was nice two two um, pairs with freshwater pearls for under two bucks total Okay, then at the estate sale, this I got for myself. It's a just a crystal ring holder because I'm always putting my stuff on the on a dish on the sink, and it's a wonder I haven't um, lost any of it yet. So I thought this might be a little bit safer. And it was uh, Sunday on the estate sale, so things are always 50% off. So I paid like one dollar for it, and it is actual crystal. So um, that was a pretty good deal. 
that I'm keeping. And this belt buckle I'm also keeping for myself. It was inexpensive, but my brother-in-law does leather work. And I need a new good leather belt to keep my jeans up. Um, I've been losing a little bit of weight. And so I'm just going to, I think I paid like 50 cents for this. So I'm going to have him make me a leather belt for that. And let's see what else. Oh, the enamel bracelet. And these do pretty well. This was marked $5. Uh, is it upside down? $5. It was marked. Had it weird, and I paid two fifty for this, but it's enameled on the inside, and it is um, cloisonné on the outside. It's got a really cute flower pattern, a black with the flower pattern, and these do really well. I've seen them um, sell anywhere from twenty five to fifty and above, you know, depending on the bracelet and if it's got a designer mark on it. This one doesn't, but I believe this is Chinese. When I looked it up, I found a really similar pattern and the with the blue enamel on the inside and then just for giveaways you know for free gifts with my purchases they had all these earrings in a bin I bought two two of these and I've already given one as a free gift on a purchase um, but that's what those are for and I think I paid like a dollar a card for these or 50 cents I don't remember but I didn't pay very much but they're in you know good shape so there's a excellent as a free giveaway who doesn't like hoops and everybody can always use little studs um i think they look like they originally sold for like five dollars a piece so that'll be a good giveaway and this necklace this necklace has lapis um stones i believe this is from india and it did have some verdigris it looks like i didn't get it all off but the best way to get off verdigris is to soak it in a little bit of vinegar and then take a really soft brush and if it's it also works too for when you have like a vintage brooch or something that has kind of a dead rhinestone like it's there but it looks kind of cloudy or dark if you soak it in vinegar for just a few minutes don't leave it in too long put that disclaimer there don't leave it in too long then take just a soft brush. The verdigris comes off pretty well. I missed a little there, but so I'll re-soak it. But this is definitely vintage. It has a vintage hook on it. And they had it marked $8, but I paid $4 for that. And it has three cloisonne stones. I'm not cloisonne, but three um, lapis stones in it. So that was a pretty good deal. I'll, I'll be able to list that now if anybody sees anything that you like just um i always include my email just email me and um i'll uh, work out a deal with you and then this brooch and this brooch is marked um oh can't remember it's a fetish brooch but it's marked uh, urban urban fetish and I've seen similar ones listed, and they actually do pretty well. This brand, I don't, it, I don't think it's vintage, but it, it, they do pretty well. Let's see if I'm trying to figure out how to get that to focus. Let's see, Let's see if I can coordinate this. I dropped my loop the other day, and now it keeps wanting to sag on me. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So, Urban Fetish. Um, it's in really good condition. And I paid $6. There were two brooches on this card. Well, I wanted $6. I paid 3 for the two brooches. I think this is like a glazed um, ceramic. I think it also has a mark on it. But I didn't recognize the mark. So, I think it says RD. Um, let's see if you can see that right there that stamp is RD so I'm not sure I couldn't really find much on that maker but I believe this one is really it's not really vintage either but it's a cute brooch sort of a tan peachy color I don't know how accurate the color is on the screen and then this is really cool I really like this this is a 
um, handmade brooch. It's by Sandbar Studio, and it's hand sculpted from yellow poplar or basswood, it says, but it's a really cute butterfly. And this definitely is vintage, and they wanted $8 for this. It was in this box, um, and I paid four for it, so I think that'll do pretty well, too. Um, figural stuff, butterflies and stuff like that tend to do pretty well from what I hear. And then this box of earrings here, they wanted four, eight dollars, but I paid four. And this is like true door knocker style. It has this, that earring, and then you hang, it had several different, I already have a couple of pairs of these, so I'll probably put them all together to sell them. But it has, let's see, one, two, three, four, four different, plus I have two that are like this. One is a, a white stone of some kind, like a ivory color. I'm not sure what that is. And the other one that I have is uh, moss agate. Um, then the um, tiger's eye. And... It also came with a set of gold, too, but I don't, only one of the gold ones was in there. I might have left it behind. And that first one I showed you is some kind of stone. I'm not sure what it is. It looks like maybe really polished marble. And then I have also, these are ceramic, and I think this kind of goes with the brooch that I just showed you, sort of. Then this one. You can see the crackling on that, that these are pretty old. The ones I have, I've had since probably the late 70s. So these have probably been around since the late 70s. That's when they were making them. These sort of look like almost the bells. The bells on them almost look like Indian style, but I don't think they are. And then a, that's a, yeah, it's a glass bead. Sometimes the glass beads have that white center that they build up around. So I thought those were pretty cute. But all those four pairs for um, four dollars, so that wasn't bad. I think I can do okay on those. And then, let's see. Oh, last thing I bought at the estate sale was this Barbie. Now, these are all over the map. It's unopened on, um, they're listed all on, all over the map. But they wanted $14, so I paid 7 It's a Celebration Barbie, like 2000 yeah, special 2000 edition celebration Barbie, and it is unopened, and I think it's the Christmas edition. So I thought that was a pretty decent deal. I will get that listed pretty soon. And then my auction wins from Barb um, on um, Going on Grouchy. I think this was like maybe last, not this past weekend, but like a week ago, I think was when I... Um, when this auction happened i think it was a later night auction and i don't manage to catch a lot of them because they usually happen too early for me i don't get home from work in time but let's see what we got and i think it's been in my box a couple of days i just got there to get it oh wow looks like she put something extra in there cool So yes, this came from Barb on Going on Grumpy. Oh, cool. I think I saw her unbox this. This is some kind of stone. It has a really nice big barrel clasp on it. Thank you, Barb. This is really nice. I like this. I'm not sure what the stones are. Yeah, it's some sort of some sort of stone. They almost look like um, river rocks almost. You know, river rocks get smoothed out from the constant movement of the water. Yeah, I'm not sure what those are. Yeah, that's nice though. I like that. That was not included in the auction, so I think that was a free gift. So thank you, Barb, for that. And I've been on this one because I saw this 
um, bracelet in the bag and it looked like it might be glass or ceramic so I was interested in that so let me cut this open and see what we got here I think I won this for $12 I think I've been on a couple more but my um, internet was lagging that night so I kept missing them let me go ahead and dump it all right oh nice a starfish pendant with rhinestones that's really cute I like that it does not have any marks on it but it's still cute it's a nice pendant I think I have a, a chain for that so that's nice oh yes look at this this is pretty it looks like um, It looks, it is a glass stone, but it looks like it is to mimic, um, oh, I can't even think right now. What is the stone I'm trying to say? Let me see what size it is. Yeah, it is, um, silver backed, but it is nice. It's, um, it's not, it's, uh, six and three quarters. That's an, that's nice though. It's yeah, I like the way it raises up too. I've got big fingers, so it almost fits my ring finger, but that's really nice. Thank you, Barb. Smoky topaz. That's what I'm trying to say. It mimics sm smoky topaz. Oh wow, this is pretty. And then this um, and this one's good quality too. A rhinestone necklace. All the rhinestones are there. This would be really cute for a prom or something. I've got um, several pairs of rhinestone earrings, so I'll probably put all that together and sell it in a rhinestone lot. Um, it has a lobster claw, so it's not vintage, but um, it is cute. That's a cute design. I do have some vintage rhinestone jewelry, though. Um, that is really old and then this stretchy bracelet and it looks like they are I'm trying to figure out if they're black or blue it looks like they're black stones okay and oh I love these style of earrings I love these giant hooks like this I have another pair like this um, simply Vera so these are Vera Wang so those are really nice um, they are, I have another pair like this, so I might put them together and sell them, but with this type of, a, um, I guess a kidney hook, you call it. It's a large kidney hook and it's got purple and kind of grayish beads on it. So those are nice. Bear Wang. Look brand new. Oh, another dome ring. This is cute. And this one looks really small too let me see what size it is it's a six and a quarter but this is cute all the rhinestones are there it is not marked but it is nice costume jewelry it is a nice um, like cocktail ring there you go cute though and what do we got here? Yeah. Oh, another pendant. This is really cute. Oh, two. Oh, okay, it's like a two-sided pendant. Nice. One side is silver, and it's kind of brushed. So that's really cute pendant. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it hooks. So you could put it on beads or something because it has a magnetic um, clasp. So, yeah, that would be nice on beads. Nice. And then a butterfly bracelet. This kind of looks like it could be Avon yeah, with um, dyed um, abalone. Let me see. It does have a mark. Let's see what it says. S.J. 
Okay, so not Avon. I thought it was going to be Avon. I'm not sure who SJ is. I'll have to look that up, but it's a cute bracelet. And it is fully functional, which Barb always guarantees that everything she puts in her grab bags is fully functional and wearable. And it, so far, everything is, so I really appreciate that. Unlike jewelry jars where you're not guaranteed everything is going to be wearable. And, oh, this is cute. I have some earrings that will match this perfectly. So, that are gunmetal with black, the same black stones in it. So, I'll probably sell those as a set. Totally matches these perfectly, and it has a vintage style hook. This is cute. And it has an extender with, oh, it is marked too. It has an extender with a C clasp. I like those kind of extenders that have the spring clasp on them or the C clasp. Let's see what it says. Monet. Oh, wow, this is Monet. So that's nice. So that should, uh, if I don't keep it, I will list it with that pair of earrings. But that's nice. That's Monet. And it is, you know, Monet. I like the way they set it. It's open back. You know, if it's Monet, it's quality. And then this is stone necklace. It looks like um, it's an agate, um, maybe cornelian agate, but it's a nice long stone necklace. And then the bracelet, which is acrylic, but I like the pattern of this bracelet. It's nice. It looked more, it's kind of a tannish with a little bit of peachy. It looked more of a peach color on the screen when um, in the bag, but I do like the bracelet. It's a smaller, smaller bracelet. So this would, um, I've got a couple of other bangles that that would be nice with. I'm forgetting to use my magnet. And then I have another multi and these, I've had good luck with these style of necklaces, so um, I like this. This one also has a mark. Um, AV Max. I'm not familiar with AV Max, but I will look it up. But Barb does put good quality stuff in her grab bags from what I've seen so far. Other people opening theirs, but it's multi chain it's got um crystals these are glass crystals they're not plastic and then a smaller strand of crystals and then two different lengths of chain so this is nice this should be um do well on its own and actually i probably wear it a few times too because it is my it is my style okay so thank you barb that's nice too so yeah, um, watch for Barb's off. If you haven't um, subscribed to Going on Grouchy, go ahead and subscribe to her because her auctions are usually pretty good. And then a second multi-strand necklace. And this one is really pretty. And none of the stones, everything is there. Everything is intact. Move that back a little bit. Maybe it'll focus better. This is really cute too. And this is Lobster Claw. It does not have a maker's mark, but it's so cute. Who cares? Oh, the center stone there, too. I missed that. Oh, that's my magnet. <laughs> I thought it was my center stone. It has a um, fancy herringbone, too, on there. So, nice. So, that was it for the um, unboxing. So I am going to do a, another video tonight. I have a 
four pound bag of bracelets that came from shopgoodwill.com so I'm going to stop this one so it is not super long trying to keep it under half hour and it looks like I have managed to do that for a change and then I will do a second video so again congratulations Barbara Elford um, you have one week so that will be today's the 22nd so you'll have till midnight on August 29th to claim your um, the giveaway so I will leave my email and that's all you need to do is email me so good night everybody don't forget to subscribe and like and leave a comment and share I appreciate it thank you good night all